What's up all you film lovers out there? Today we're going back to Pope Picks. Now what you guys don't might not know about this is I did this a while back and I only did one episode, but I thought I'd bring it back. A lot of you guys said you wanted my suggestions and of course there are tons of movies that you guys can stream out there and I wanted to give you guys my suggestions for this weekend. So let's talk about Pope Picks. What is Pope Picks? What is it about? So Pope Picks is pretty much I'm going to discuss what films are in theaters that I think you guys should check out. But if you guys don't want to go to the theaters, maybe I can give you guys some recommendations for films that are streaming right now, films that you can get on demand and just a couple picks this week that maybe you guys can check out if you just want to sit in the comfort of your home watching a film or a new show without further ado let's get straight into pope picks so first off this weekend you got sorry to bother you hotel transylvania 3 and skyscraper all three different genres which i quite enjoyed each and every one of these films you can guys can find my reviews down below for those or even on my channel or at sandwich john films depending on what you guys have time to go check out but of course on this thing sorry to bother you is the brand new comedy written by boots riley it's a very original comedy that I can recommend if you're looking for an original film just be very prepared for the third act it very much changes what the film is about skyscraper is the brand new action film from the rock now i gotta be honest here i quite enjoyed it i know some people aren't i know it's kind of rotten on rotten tomatoes right now but i think if you're a fan of dwayne johnson himself or the rock i think you can quite enjoy this film action gurus out there you might have some nitpicks with it but if you're just looking for a sit back in your seat enjoy some popcorn kind of film i think skyscraper is for you now if you do have a family though hotel transylvania 3 is the film to see this film i got some enjoyment out of I think adults well I think kids well I think this is the perfect family film and it's just as good as the original I find the series to be very underrated and you don't have to see the other ones but I do recommend actually checking them out if you get the time for it moving on to Netflix and Hulu I picked some movies I picked some TV shows but I picked three movies in particular that I think you guys should check out first off I picked Thor Ragnarok now this film is now streamable on Netflix and I cannot recommend this film enough for any kind of fan if you're just looking to get a good laugh Thor Ragnarok is there yeah Yes, it's a Marvel film. Yes, it's a superhero film, but it doesn't just feel like that. It is its own thing. It's its own comedy that does tie into this world in small little bits. That's the thing that Taika Waititi, the director of this, did so well. As much as I think this film is hilarious, it does have some good action moments in it. It has a lot of energy to it, and I cannot recommend Thor Ragnarok enough if you have not seen it yet, or maybe if you have, maybe just checking it out to get a good laugh again. Moving on to my next film. This film is located on Hulu, and this film is I, Tanya. I think this film was one of the most underrated films of last year i think it should have gotten more oscar nominations for it last year margot robbie did give the best performance last year in this film i tanya is the true story about tanya harding yes the figure skater and a lot of you guys are probably like my dad who said why do we need to see that i lived through that Trust me, you want to check out I, Tanya. This is the good fill of, of sports films, and I absolutely adore I, Tanya. I've checked it out so many times ever since it went on Hulu. You got to look up I, Tanya and watch it. You'll get some laughs, you'll get some intriguing aspects about her life, and you'll get some great performances in there. Such a fun ride. Now, of course, coming down to my last pick, this film also just came on Netflix, and it's Wind River. This film is directed and written by Taylor Sheridan. Now, this guy has written Sicario. He wrote Sicario 2, and he also wrote Hell or High Water. Now, this guy is a brilliant writer but it was his first time in the director's chair and wind river is one of those films that subtly went under the radar on everyone's radar this film is brilliant it has jeremy renner it has our own favorite scarlet which also so two avengers are teaming up again on an indian reservation to solve a murder mystery now it is such an intriguing film such an intriguing film that brings a limelight to a lot of actual social aspects that are going on in today's world and if you have not heard of wind river please check it out on netflix i cannot recommend this film enough now of course i did pick out two shows for you guys to check out one on netflix and one on hulu netflix show i gotta recommend is ozark this is the breaking bad this is the brand new breaking bad it has jason bateman going full dramatic role he's directed and written some of the episodes of this first season but the reason i'm really recommending this series is if you have not checked it out or maybe you want to rewatch it soon because the second season is coming back very soon I think in about a month or so and I'm so excited for that but Ozark is one of the most underrated shows going right now and coming down to my last show to recommend it is Rick and Morty from Hulu I put this in here because a lot of people still have not checked out Rick and Morty it's one of those shows that's super creative super funny and just knows what it is and Rick and Morty is one of those shows that once you get into it you get so sucked into these worlds these adventures that Rick and Morty go on and it's just such a creative show itself 
But guys, that's my new installment of Pope Picks. Tell me what you guys thought about it down below in the comments. If you guys want me to add like HBO Go or Amazon Prime also on here, I'd be willing to do it and talk more with you guys. If you guys have any other suggestions for films that I should add later into Pope Picks, please comment down below and tell me. But guys, of course, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button if you're new so you guys never miss out on any of these picks I do. And also go ahead up on my social media links so we can talk about the films if you guys did check these out. Plus, hit up Sandwich on Films for other movie news, movie reviews, and advanced screens that maybe you guys can get into. Until next time, stay classy.